Hi everyone, let me introduce myself. My name is Teguh Yulianto. I am student of UPN Veteran Jawa Timur. This time I will explain about climate change or global warming. This earth, the planet, and our solar system that we live on, however, our planet is not on a good path for continuing to sustain life. The earth is facing the accelerating detrimental effect of climate change also revered to uh, as global warming. Well, what exactly is climate change? Climate change is defined as a long-term change in the earth overall temperature with massive and permanent ramifications. Climate scientists believe that this isn't caused uh, naturally by the earth, but by human activity. Some of the main human activities that emit greenhouse gases are fossil fuels burning, animal agriculture and deforestation, and waste and recycled pollution. Burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas as well as gasoline for some of the largest pollutants of carbon emission. Not only that, but when fossil fuels are burned and their gas is mixed with heat, they crack smoke a thick air pollutant that is highly toxic. The massive amount of excrement produced by livestock farms emit toxic gases such as hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, and methane into the air. Methane is 23 times more effective at trapping heat than carbon dioxide and roughly 80% of this emission in the United States come from animal. Bulldozing land and deforestation not only emits greenhouse gases but it gets rid of plants, trees, and forests, the things on our planet. They actually absorb carbon dioxide the more we deforest our earth the less carbon dioxide it can absorb from our atmosphere. Solid waste landfills are some of the largest pollutants of methane gas in the United States. The average person produces 4.3 pounds of trash per day, that's 1569 pounds of trash per year for one person. With the 7 plus billion people that live on the globe, that 11.6 trillion pounds of trash dump into landfill every year. But how do we know that our human activity is the cause of accelerating climate change and not the Earth's natural process? Our civilization produced a devastating 40 billion tons of carbon dioxide last year, which equals 700 trillion cubic feet of carbon dioxide. That's a little more than 100 months years of carbon dioxide. It's enough carbon dioxide to fill the entire Grand Canyon, 5 ton, or it's the equivalent of 19 million empire state building. Our planet with the greenhouse effect is like a bed up being filled with more water than it can drain. Eventually, it will fill up with more than it can handle. But why should we care about global warming and climate? Increasing the Earth's temperature has risen 1.5 degrees Fahrenheit over the past century and is projected to rise another 0.5 to 8.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Over the next 100 years, animals and plants life are, are struggling to adapt to these conditions for survival. If even one self species goes acting, it can create a domino effect with the food change. No living plant or animal means no living for human. Climate change also causes uh, more frequent and intense natural disasters such as hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, heat wave, and droughts. So the question is, how do we stop this? Instead of burning fossil fuels, we need to create a con comfort to renewable energy such as solar and wind power which he met uh, zero carbon emission when approaching em energy from the sun and the wind are in unlike fossil fuels reduce rails recycle and of course spread you know knowledge and concerns of climate change remember climate change is very real and is drastically affecting planet earth uh, our home and also we are the problem we can also be the solution that was some information that i can convey hopefully it can be useful and add uh, to your insight about global warming thank you and goodbye